In this tutorial we will develop a simple to use FM synth. FM stands for frequency modulation, this means using one oscillator to modulate another oscillator. We can do this very directly with two oscillators, scaling the output of one to be in a useful frequency range for the other. We can get lots of fun sounds this way. It can be hard to control this way though, so we will look here at making a more manageable FM synth, inspired by the example in the Max MSP tutorials. We will be introducing two new parameters, harmonicity and modulation index. We will link our main oscillator frequency to the frequency of our modulating oscillator. The ratio between the main carrier frequency and the modulation frequency is controlled with the harmonicity parameter. The modulation index links the scaling of the modulating oscillator to the frequency of the modulating oscillator. Try out these parameters to see how they affect the sound. So far our patch is not that different from the first example. Let's tidy what we have into a neat sub-patch before we expand it. Create a new sub-patch called something like PDFM Synth, and paste the synth parts inside. Keep the numbered boxes and the labels outside. Create inlets and outlets for the various parameters as I am doing here. Notice that we have audio inlets and outlets with the tilde sign. We can test the sub-patch quickly. At this point, I'm reintroducing the envelope sub-patch from tutorial 2. You can go back to the tutorial for the explanation or you can pause the video here and build it for yourself quickly. We will use this to make the modulation index change over time when we receive a new note. 
I am also going to change my input to take MIDI D notes rather than frequencies for convenience with the M to F object. We can add a second envelope to control the actual volume to and make sure both envelopes are triggered every time we receive a new note. We can scale the modulation envelope with the modulation index for more control. Finally, we can tidy this up to make a neat sub patch again. This will make it very easy to build a polyphonic version of the patch. See tutorial 3 on how to do this with the clone object. Thank you.